everyone, it's Libby Bird. How are y'all doing? I am back with Nancy Drew, Secrets Can Kill, the remastered version. Okay guys, hopefully this episode we can finish it. <laughs> Some of the Nancy Drew games, you can zoom through them like really easily and they like finish really quickly. And then some of, some of them, like the last one, make you sit there for like ever trying to figure out a puzzle, trying to get through it all. And it's just, it's like, no. I'm literally done with everything but this right here. I think what it has to do with is these numbers right here. And I'm like, what? I have 15 and I need to get 18 of them. And it looks like something off of, um, like they look like uh, chemicals. Chemistry chart or, you know, elemental chart. I guess that's what you'd call it. So we're gonna be looking around for these really quick. Let's see, wait a second. What the heck was that? Like, seriously, dude. So I found another one. Yep, I wrote it down. That makes 16. I'm trying to find all these, like, seriously, man. Seriously, bruh. Um. There's 17. Yep, 17. Just need to find one more. God, one more. And there's the last. Okay, guys, so I have all of these. Now I need to go back to the library. And I need to look at the elements. Like, element. What's that board called? I mean, I'm sorry, I haven't had, like, chemistry in a long time. Periodic table. Okay. Matchbook behind Maxine's schedule. Oh my god, the matchbook behind the schedule is going to help me? Whoa. Like, he's, he's sending me out on a wild goose, goose chase, I can't even. On the back? On the back. Hmm, looks like something was removed here. Where the heck is it? What can I do for you? Hulk Sanchez said he saw you delivering an envelope to Jake. Okay, so I gave him an envelope. Big deal. It was about a school project I'm working on. Hey, what is it with all these questions? I'm really starting to wonder who you are exactly, Nancy Drew. I'm out of here. If Maxine drops by, make up a good excuse about why I had to leave. See you around, Nancy. The heck? Did you just, like, leave me, bruh? Hi, Nancy. I found the videotape Jake made. It shows some students that Jake was blackmailing. Was one of the students Daryl Gray? No. That's surprising. My intuition says that Blondie Burger Boy is involved in this somehow. A good lead, but we really need to find that journal of Jake's. I think a student may have killed Jake because he was blackmailing him, or her. You're getting great leads, but think and may have are not good enough. We need to find hard evidence, like Jake's journal. See you around. Be careful. I have 13 coins. I am super duper rich. Like, anybody help me. I might have to pay somebody just to help me on this. Like, seriously, I can't figure it out. Alright guys, I think I figured it out. I was going the wrong way about it, so let's see if I got it correct this time. Um, we'll see. Oh, crap. Oh yeah, okay. And I think this is the last one. Yes! Okay. Oh my gosh. I was like, ah, uh, trying to figure this out. So now let's go and hopefully 
see what's on this tape. Hopefully this is getting close to the end. I think it is. Um, hopefully we see who the real culprit in all of this is. This is the story of a student council president gone terribly bad. Let's take a look at what kind of homework he's bringing home from Daddy's top secret military industrial aerospace factory. But what does Daryl do with this stuff? He's too stupid to really know what it all means. But he's not too stupid to know how much these industrial secrets are worth. You see, Daryl's selling out to our local air conditioning guy, Mitch Dillon. Not sure what a guy specializing in HVAC does with satellite schematics, telemetry encodings, and signature intelligence, but I'm sure whatever it is, it's not exactly legal. But it's probably worth a lot of money to Mitch to keep it quiet. Breaking news, check it out. I found out who Mitch is selling Daryl's secrets to. This dude, can you imagine? This dorkoid is the ringleader of some kind of clearinghouse for military secrets. And Mr. Clueless just forgot his journal full of important notes like contact numbers, system passwords, project code names, amounts paid, etc, etc. And some other stuff I don't understand, but I can tell that this guy will pay top dollar to get it back. But just in case, should anything happen to me, I'm putting the journal in a safe place. I taped it underneath one of the book carts at the school, but I doubt he'll give me much trouble. Just a ton of cash. So if you find this video, come look me up. I'll probably be long gone from Paseo del Mar and tanning my bod on my very own private island, retired at 17. Aunt Eloise? Is that you? I need something to make this work. <gasps> Detective Beach! I didn't expect you. I just thought I'd come by and see how you're doing. You seemed kind of in a hurry. Did you find the journal? Yes, I found your journal. My what? Uh, Jake's journal. I found Jake's journal. No, you said my journal. You said that you found my journal. The, Why don't the, we step into the living room what? and have a nice chat about where my journal is, hmm? Oh, and why don't you give me your cell phone? I'd hate to be interrupted during our little tete-a-tete. So, this Detective Beach, an undercover assignment, was just a ruse to get me to find your journal. You killed Jake, didn't you? Yes, I did con you into this undercover charade, and you just ate it up. I mean, you had the lingo, the self-important attitude. The You're heck? a real Snoopy Susie, aren't you? But as far as murder goes, no. That was my former partner, Mitch Dillon. But stop with this delaying tactic, Detective Nancy. Where's my journal? Uh, it's in the entrance, behind the tapestry. What's the combination? Kappa Lambda Kappa Sigma. You're trying my patience, Detective Drew. What's the combination? Zeta Mu Mu Pi. Hey! What the? Get me out of here, Nancy Drew! I'm sure the police will be happy to transfer you to oh, another set of bars. Face. So long, Detective Beach, Look and hello, face. prisoner number 4321A. Dear Dad, case closed. Mitch Dillon and his boss, formerly known as Detective Beach, are on their way to prison. <laughs> The police still don't know his real identity, but his trade in top-secret information has been stopped, thanks to Aunt Eloise's burglar-proof safe. Daryl has confessed to selling information about his father's military projects. Despite the damage this has caused Gray Enterprises, Daryl's father has forgiven him. Connie returned her trophy, but the Judo Club refused to take it and is opening their competitions to women next year. Hulk agreed to pay for the damages to the pharmacy, and Hal has gotten his scholarships. And I'm headed to the beach, where the only cover I'm going to go under is a beach blanket. See you soon, Nancy. Ah, and guys, that concludes 
Nancy Drew's Secrets Can Kill Remastered. I know it went a whole lot quicker than this one did. Um, some of the games actually just go quicker and some of them go a, lo a whole lot longer. It's just, it depends on the game and the puzzles and how hard it is to find things and how far you have to go to get things. But um, some of them will go quicker and some of them just won't. And I mean, that's just how it is. But this one actually went a little bit quicker. I think I did it in like four or five episodes, so that's pretty good. Um, okay, so which item is not in the diner, on the diner menu? Oh, what? I'm going to say broccoli surprise. I didn't get it. Confidential. Okay, I don't know where that Easter egg is. I probably should have, uh, you know where that Easter egg is? It's probably in the maintenance room. Like, you have to type in egg in Braille. Let me know if that's what it is. Find all those shiny quarters. Well, I, I thought I found them all. I mean, like, I found 13. Maybe there's, like, 40, and I just don't know. And library lover for reading every single book. Well, you know me. I had to be in the creepy library. Ah, the uh, Japanese one. Okay, yeah. So it was, like, 20, 22 or something like that. I don't know. I've always wanted to visit Japan. From the exotic food and wild fashion in the cities, to the nature and tradition in the smaller towns, I know there's going to be a ton to see and do. As a thank you for all of my hard detective work, P.G. Crowmeister has reserved a room for me at one of the area's best ryokans, or traditional inns. It'll be nice to finally take a break from solving mysteries and to spend a few weeks without danger and dark secrets hiding around every corner. I've already heard that the ryokan I'm staying in has quite a reputation. I'm not sure exactly for what, though. Well, I'll find that out soon enough. It's like, that one is pretty creepy because it looks Join like Join me in my raid. next adventure, Shadow at the Water's Edge. I swear it looks like the freaking ring. That little girl or some kind of grudge or something. I don't know. It's like, oh, yeah, because this was the only photo I took. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, you can like me on Facebook at facebook.com slash livybirds with an S. You can also add me on Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr, and I hope to see you all again in the next Let's Play. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.